I want to talk to you about one of my favorite myths. Myth. 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 All right, so this story may not be factually true, it may not be factually accurate in any way, shape, or form, but I like its metaphorical significance, like its, its uh, metaphysical weight. I mean, it's metaphysically true, if that, if that rings a bell for you. Uh, so while the details may not be accurate, its meaning is pointing to the right spot. So quickly, the, the idea is that uh, this, this guy, Bodhidharma, left India, went north to China, and was teaching this meditation thing to some guys, and uh, he noticed that they kept falling asleep, and they literally weren't strong enough to do this meditation stuff. So I took him outside, did a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of exercises and whatnot, and uh, kind of taught them how to be strong, and then they were actually physically strong enough to do the, the meditation which to me is a really important truth because if you don't have the physical strength, you won't be able to wrangle your mind or your breathing. And a lot of people are going, well, no, you gotta work on your mind first, you gotta work on your breathing first, whatever it is. No, there's a proper order of operations. First, you have to be able to calm your mind. <laughs> See, there, there's my mind going. Uh, you have to be able to calm your body first and be aware of how your body is working and then be physically strong enough to work on the mental and more abstract stuff because as long as the physical dimension is eluding you, you won't have that concrete foundation to, to use as a benchmark for anything else. So that's why the physical layer is kind of your, your chassis, your foundation, the, the ground level that everything else is put on top of. So if that level is lacking, then everything else is built on sand. So that's why, to me, working on your body and, and uh, obeying the universal laws of physics and how those principles are literally embodied in our physical nature once you understand that, then you can start working on the, the more abstract stuff like uh, emotions and, and mental fabrications and, and strategy and energy and, and all of that. So that's why I like that story, that it's, it's metaphysically true that the, the body is the essential foundation that everything else is built on. Because, I mean, think about it. Think about all the, the people that are espousing, here's how to be a person of integrity, here's how to live a good life, here's how to uh, earn a whole bunch of money, but then they're clearly unhealthy. Like, what is all of that if your body is falling apart, right? So you, you chase these things that aren't real at the expense of the only physical thing you can actually own, and that's yourself. So none of it is worth sacrificing your foundational layer for. So that's why you, you gotta figure out a way to work on the physical layer and use that first, right? So it's also important to mention that working on the physical layer doesn't guarantee that everything above it, all the more abstract things, are automatically going to take care of themselves. So just uh, getting a sweet bod that looks good naked doesn't mean that you're going to be a person that gives back to their community or be somebody that other people want to be around. But, you know, it's a, it's a good start, right? Because to, to get your physical layer under control requires dedication, hard work, effort, all the characteristics that the other things that it takes to be a good person require as well. So, uh, yeah, so to me, that's why uh, Kung Fu is the, the physical layer that, that gives you a context for everything else, right? Because that's the, the rest of the myth, is that uh, Bodhidharma taught these guys these stretches to get strong, and then that is the origin of the Shaolin Temple, which is uh, the birthplace of all of Kung Fu, which isn't exactly right, but you know, it, it sounds good too. So yeah, in a nutshell, Cultivate enough physical strength to cultivate the life power of being a good person on every dimension of what it means to be a good person. And, uh, yeah, so that's my favorite myth. 
All right, that's it for this time. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you get alerts for when these videos go live. Uh, if you want a, a week early preview, you can go over to patreon.com slash Wing Chun underscore life and get a, a week's early preview of videos and access to emails or training videos that aren't open to the public, all sorts of goodies over there. Uh, if you want to see the, the articles where they live, you can go over to wingchun.life. That's kind of the, the base of operations. And uh, don't forget your sweet swag, like the, the hats, t-shirts, got training stuff. Uh, if you want to rep Wing Chun Life, let people know how you roll.